Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. You'll learn Finnish here in short, palatable lessons with a native speaker. In this lesson, we'll take a look at some of the most widely used Finnish pronouns, pronominit. Let's start with personal pronouns, persona pronominit. I, mina, you, sina, she or he, han, it, se. We, me, you, te, they, he. You may have noticed that I've put the pronouns you and you in purple. In English, these are the same word, you, but in Finnish they are two different words, sina and te. Also, unlike in many other languages, Finnish doesn't have a separate word for males and females. In Finnish, it's just one word, han. In unclear cases, you need to look at the context to figure out the gender. And here are some examples of these. Sinä olet kiva, meaning you are nice. Me asumme Helsingissä, meaning we live in Helsinki. Se on sininen, meaning it is blue. I have a separate video about personal pronouns and some of their forms on my channel, so you can check that out too. You should see a link to it in the upper right corner about now. So let's say these together. Mina, Sina, Han, Se, Me, Te, He. Sina olet kiva. Me asumme Helsingissä. Se on sininen. Good. Next, let's look at demonstrative pronouns, demonstrative pronominit. These point to a specific thing or item, and you choose the right form based on whether the object is near or further away and whether all participants can observe it, or only the speaker. First, the singular forms. This, tämä. We're talking about an object that is relatively close and can be seen by everyone. That, tuo. Now the object is further away, but it can still be seen by everyone. The next form, se in Finnish, has three English translations as you can see here. If I translate the word se directly, it would be it. However, when used as a demonstrative pronoun, se is usually translated either as the or that. Now, this is something that can't be seen right now, or only the speaker may be able to observe it, and I have some examples of this in the next slide. The plural forms are similar. These Nama for objects that are close and can be seen by everyone. Those nuo for objects that are further away but can still be seen. And again, the third form ne in Finnish has three translations. Directly translated, it would be they, but used as a demonstrative pronoun, it is usually translated as the or those. And again, this is something that can't be seen, or only the speaker can observe it. Note that all of these words conjugate according to the Finnish case system, but I've included some links in the description box to sites that list all case forms of these words. So let's say these together. Tämä Tuo Se Nama Nuo Ne Great! Here are some examples of demonstrative pronouns. Tämä muki on likainen. This mug is dirty. Tuo kirja on jännittävä. That book is exciting. 
Se kauppa on liian kallis. That store is too expensive. Here you can see se used as a demonstrative pronoun. It points to a specific thing, the store, as in se kauppa, that store. Therefore, it's translated as that. Nämä omenat ovat raakoja. These apples are raw. Nuo autot ovat uusia. Those cars are new. Ne lapset, jotka asuvat naapurissa, ovat meluisia. Those kids who live next door are noisy. Again, ne is not translated as they, but as those because it is used as a demonstrative pronoun and it points to a specific thing. Ne lapset, those kids. So let's repeat this. Tämä muki on likainen. Tuo kirja on jännittävä. Se kauppa on liian kallis. Nämä omenat ovat raakoja. Nuo autot ovat uusia. Ne lapset, jotka asuvat naapurissa, ovat meluisia. Nice. Next, I have relative pronouns, relativi pronominit. The important thing about these is that they join clauses together. In English, you have, for example, who, that and which. But in Finnish, you have two words, joka and mikä. Sometimes a colloquial form kuka is included, but it's an informal word and it's only used for people. Joka is used to refer to people, ideas, places and items, including animals. Mika is used to refer to a whole class, but sometimes it's also used to refer to another pronoun or a superlative form preceding it. Note that in some cases either one of these can be used, so it's not a huge mistake to mix these. And again, these words conjugate according to the Finnish case system, so check out the links in the description box to sites that list all case forms. So let's say these. Joka. Mikä. Kuka. Good. And here we have some examples of relative pronouns. The house that is next to the post office is beautiful. Or you could say that house next to the post office is beautiful. Se talo, joka on postin vieressä, on kaunis. Here, joka refers to the house. I lost my plane tickets, which was dreadful. Kadotin lentolippuni, mikä oli kamalaa. Here, mikä refers to the whole preceding clause, kadotin lentolippuni. This is the best cake that I have ever tasted. Tämä on paras kakku, mitä olen koskaan maistanut. Here, mitä refers to the preceding superlative form, paras kakku. And last, I have an example of kuka. That woman who lives next door to Pekka is a really good singer. Se nainen, kuka asuu Pekan naapurissa, on tosi hyvä laulaja. Normally, and in formal speech, you would use joka here, se nainen, joka asuu. But in informal language, you can use kuka. So let's say this. Se talo, joka on postin vieressä, on kaunis. Kadotin lentolippuni, mikä oli kamalaa. Tämä on paras kakku, mitä olen koskaan maistanut. Se nainen, kuka asuu Pekan naapurissa, on tosi hyvä laulaja.
great. The last type of pronouns in this video are interrogative pronouns, interrogative pronominit. They are used to form questions, and in fact, these words are already questions on their own. Kuka means who, mikä means what, and kumpi means which one. Note that you just saw kuka and mikä used as relative pronouns, and the difference is that as relative pronouns, kuka and mikä join clauses together. Here, as interrogative pronouns, they form questions. Kuka is used of people. Mikä refers to various things and items, including animals. Kumpi is a choice between two options, and it is used of people and various things and items, again including animals. And, as with the previous pronouns, these ones conjugate according to the Finnish system as well, so check out the links in the description box. So let's say these. Kuka? Mikä? Kumpi? Nice. And then I have some examples of interrogative pronouns. Who's that? Kuka tuo on? For whom did you bake this bread? Kenelle leivoit tämän leivän? Note that here you can see kuka used in the allatiivi case and it looks very different. What's your sister's name? Mikä sinun siskosi nimi on? What's your opinion on modern art? Mitä mieltä olet modernista taiteesta? Here you can see mikä in its partitiivi form. Which one of these colors is better? Kumpi näistä väreistä on parempi? To which direction do I turn? Kumpaan suuntaan käännyn? And here we can see kumpi in its illatiivi form. So let's say this. Kuka tuo on? Kenelle leivoit tämän leivän? Mikä sinun siskosi nimi on? Mitä mieltä olet modernista taiteesta? Kumpi näistä väreistä on parempi? Kumpaan suuntaan käännyn? Good. Here I've listed a few more pronoun types for advanced learners. Reflektiivi pronominit, indefiniitti pronominit, resiprookki pronominit. These require more in-depth study, so as I said, I recommend them for advanced learners. That was it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Kiitos kun katsoit. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and maybe giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Nähdään ensi kerralla. See you next time. Moikka!